Let's try this out. What's going on guys? I'm Charlene Radlin and um, we're gonna try something a little different today. <laughs> so for this video, I'm just gonna get a little personal and we're gonna just be talking about some things that I learned in acting class. And if it's something that you're curious in doing but you're so terrified or if you're so excited and you just need that extra confirmation, then I hope that this video helps you out and maybe you'll learn something. So I am a bi-coastal actress. I have done two feature films in California. I was supposed to be doing a third one in October, but the strike happened, so there you go. And I've done three, four short films in New York and one feature in New York as well. Let's get into it. So I'm just gonna dump. I'm just gonna dump all the things that are in my brain out to you guys, and I hope, I hope you like it. No teleprompter that I'm reading. It's just coming from in from in here and in here out. Okay. I've been taking acting classes since 2017, so about six years now. That's crazy. Um, I started off in improv. So I was a part of a studio called Kimball Studios, and their improv is actually called Ballistics. And it is terrifying as it sounds and so incredible at the same damn time. I genuinely think that it helped set the foundation as to what I can bring to the table as an actor. And what I mean by that is you really get outside of your head and outside of your body and, and you're so present. Oh, you're so present. I think that's the most incredible thing about improv is that you have to listen to the other person because you genuinely do not have a guideline as to what they're going to say. When you have lines, you already know what the person's gonna say. And so you're already reacting before they're even acting, before they're even speaking. And when you're in improv, you're listening with intention and purpose, and it then forces you to think about what to happen next. And guess what, guys? That's called real life. <laughs> And that's what makes it so beautiful. And that's one of the things that I really, you know, I, I started off with improv because for me, I was in a very dark place at the time and I really felt like I needed, well, actually my mom was the one that told me that I should try acting classes and I should get into it because she's been telling me to do that for most of my life and I just did not listen because, <sighs> sorry mom. Mother knows best. So here I am, I'm learning now and I'm doing it and <laughs> We're, we're making it happen. Anyways, I digress. Some of the things I learned in improv classes was just like for one, getting over that fear of performing in front of people and allowing my thoughts to really, like to just do them, to working on an impulse and not thinking things through. I think in our everyday life, we think things through, at least for me, I, I some people don't, and that's, you know, to each their own. I think through so many things and I'm constantly retrospective, constantly thinking, what could I have done better? Maybe there's this point of view to be looking at things. Have I thought of it this way? Maybe I should not do anything at all and just be in my head for an eternity. Can't do that with improv, that can't happen. What you gonna do? stand on stage and just stare and blink. And so therefore it really got me outside of my head and it allowed me to bond with my classmates in a way that was just building that trust with one another. That was so important because in the improv room, there's no cameras, there's nothing, and it's just you, your scene partner, maybe you're by yourself, and your classmates. And you really, I mean, it's kind of therapeutic. It really is kind of therapeutic. And for a while, it kind of was my therapy for the first three years, just saying. And it really helped me just kind of set the foundation. So if you're thinking about improv, I highly recommend it. Now we're gonna get into some on-camera stuff and that's where the real shift in everything kind of changes because you're taking a lot of that groundwork from the improv and you're trying to implement it on camera. And in my opinion, improv is is kind of similar to theater in the sense of it's a performance and you're doing it and it doesn't really matter how loud you are, but the person in the back can definitely see what you're doing and the person in the front can really see what you're doing and you can get really, really tiny and you can just be right here. Or you can get big and big and big and big and that's also acceptable. Yeah, on camera that doesn't really work, like at all. And what I mean about that is that there's such a intimacy that you, that you develop with doing on camera, and I realized that. This sense of, it's just you and me. It's just you and me. Thanks. If I were to do that in improv, you'd probably still feel it, but it, it definitely takes out some of that for you. Now, on camera is literally like how it is right here. I am like this, you see me, right? I'm on your screen, 
And there's this, so there's a camera, you're in a room, there's a camera in front of you. Maybe I'll draw a graph so that way you can see what I'm trying to explain. It's like as if you are going in and auditioning for a role. My coach, who her name is Jamie Carroll, I've been going with, I've been taking classes with her for over three years, I wanna say four years now. And when I say the lessons I have learned from Jamie, and she's always made me cry every single week in the most beautiful, profound way because she is just a teacher that really sees through you and sees the essence of you and is just trying to pull that out. That little inner child that, is, that has gone through so much trauma and is second doubting themselves, she coddles you up and she's like, it's gonna be okay, you're good. Those things that you're doing, like I understand why you did them because you're trying to just protect yourself and it's kept you safe, but this person here, oh baby, they're powerful, they're incredible. Let them come out. You know, it's one of those things that when you think of like a child actor, that's what makes child actors so incredible is that they're not bringing anything to the table in the sense of like there isn't a lot of life experience from them right whereas an adult actor we might view them in a very different harsh light because we're just like what are they doing <laughs> why are they talking that way why are they acting that way but a child when they're so you know we think about the, the cast of stranger things for example when they first started they, they were just being themselves you just felt like you were in their life and they were your friends and you were just watching a youtube video a terrifying one but of their life you didn't feel like they were being a whole thing like a whole thing but that's what kind of getting back into acting is like as an adult in my opinion it's like you're letting your inner child come out and just play Ah, oh, you can just play, it's so fun. Now I wanna say that it's not easy. That That is a very hard skill to like learn and undo because we bring all of our crap that we've had and, and experiences and if you've never done this before, like I didn't grow up acting, I didn't grow up you know, being on stage in that way as a theater person uh, or anything like that. So this world was very different. Now, I do model, I am in commercials, but it is completely different to do a commercial than it is to act in a movie or a short film. Because when I go in for a commercial, you're just booking Charlene. Hi, what's up guys? Here's a product. When I am acting, acting, you're being this character. You're bringing this character on the paper that the writer has written to life. So it's a different side of you. One of the most incredible things that Jamie has taught us is even if you have never gone through 90% of the things that are written on this paper, there is still humility that you bring to the table. At the end of the day, that is a person. And so even though you may not have experienced exactly what this character has gone through, you can empathize or correlate some sort of association with the feeling that that character is going through based on a life experience that you've had. And you really start to self-reflect and you really start to think, okay, I've never dated a prince before, but I do remember when I was in the fifth grade and there was a guy that I viewed that was like the cutest guy ever. And what would that feeling be like if I found out that he was a prince and the feeling that I got when I was around him? excited. I'm, I'm feeling like our whole world can just be this fairy tale. So you live in that and that's incredible <laughs> to be able to just live in that. And so the journey of finding your voice as an actor is really, really difficult. There are a lot of my actor friends when I'd go in class and I would see them and they're brilliant, like geniuses. How do they do that? How? And then, you know, after class, they would look at me and they'd be like, Shar, you've got it. You just got to believe in yourself. And I had no idea what that meant. I was like, what do you mean believe in myself, girl? No, but I understand because I wasn't committing to what I was feeling. I didn't feel like what I had to offer was going to be appreciated and going to be understood, even though I had done improv. It's a completely different muscle. So I don't want this video to be too long. And this just is like the first of a series that I would hope to continue. And if you have any comments, let me know down below and then I will gladly answer any of them because this stuff is so fun to me. Learning how to believe in yourself, learning that your point of view matters, learning and unlearning a lot of the things that we have been conditioned 
to believe is what makes acting for me very freeing. That's what to me has been the most cathartic experience and also remi reminding myself what I have to bring to the table. Jamie would always say, and this would always set me off, trust that you are powerful. That's a good, that's a deep one. That's a deep, trust that you're powerful. I mean, I know I'm powerful. Honey, I'm a Leo, let's go round. No, seriously, through life experiences, through especially as a model, feeling like you don't have any control, you don't have any power. If I can pour that into a character, you're gonna see me, that's for sure. With that being said, if you are interested in doing acting, if you are just curious about what goes into acting or what somebody could have learned, if you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, let me know them down below in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what else. Give a thumbs up. That's what this was. Give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. For the next one, let's see. I also wrote a short film. I acted in it and I directed it. And there's so much more I can talk about. But this is just the first one. So let me know if you want to see more. All right, guys. See ya. Till the next time.